If I told you there was a hormone that can increase the ability to read other people's minds, what would you think? Well, I know I was very skeptical at first, but then I dived into the research and realized that this particular hormone may actually increase one's ability to read other people's minds. What's up guys, my name is Lucas and in today's video, what I'm gonna explore is a particular hormone known as oxytocin, which I'm sure many of you are familiar with, which has been shown to increase mind reading abilities in humans. So first of all, what I want to do is dive into what oxytocin actually is. Well, oxytocin can be considered as the great facilitator of life as captured in this study. And that is because oxytocin plays a crucial role in social memory, attachment, sexual and maternal behavior, and even aggression. In addition, oxytocin also plays a key role in human bonding and trust as well. Human disorders characterized by deficits or disruptions in social interactions such as autism or schizophrenia may actually involve deficiencies in oxytocin signaling in the brain. So you're probably wondering now how is oxytocin synthesized and made? Well, let's take a look at how oxytocin is produced in the brain. So there's actually multiple pathways in which oxytocin is actually able to exert its effects throughout the body. But majority of the oxytocin is actually produced in the hypothalamus and is released from the posterior pituitary gland. Usually we all focus on the anterior pituitary, which regulates um, a lot of the other hormones such as those that regulate reproductive capacity and thyroid hormone output. The posterior gland is responsible for releasing oxytocin. So just so that you understand that, both oxytocin and vasopressin are released from the posterior pituitary gland. So what actually increases oxytocin? Well, we know that social interaction or being in a very enriching social environment can help to boost one's oxytocin production. Falling in love or being with a loved one can increase oxytocin levels. Oxytocin is released following ejaculation and also orgasm in women. Obviously, oxytocin plays a crucial role in building up that attachment to someone else and also helps with building trust as well. We know that oxytocin is also released following massage or skin-to-skin -skin contact with another human. I'm sure many of you who've had a massage before have experienced that blissful feeling, um, that relaxing sensation. In addition, using a sauna has also been shown to increase oxytocin levels or being in a hyperthermic environment, not hypo, hyperthermic environment. Yoga training or doing yoga can also raise oxytocin. Certain types of drugs can raise oxytocin such as MDMA and other um, compounds and things like that. And also magnesium has been shown to play a crucial role in, mag in oxytocin output as well. So everyone, today we're here to look at how oxytocin can uh, increase mind reading. This study here was titled, Oxytocin Improves Mind Reading in Humans. Now, this study was published back in 2007. It was a randomized double-blind placebo-controlled trial. And so what I wanted to do was actually share what they found from this study. So they said, these results may have clinical implications for individuals with severe social impairment, especially patients with autism who show diminished plasma levels of oxytocin. In sum, this study shows that a single dose of administered oxytocin is sufficient to cause a substantial increase in the ability in affective mind reading and therefore in interpreting subtle social cues from the eye region of other individuals. So oxytocin appears to improve the ability to contextualize and um, understand certain social cues just by looking at some another person's eye. The ability of mind reading is involved in almost all kinds of human social interactions. Oxytocin might have modulated the face 
perception network at different levels resulting in a more accurate inference about effective mental states. In addition, various brain regions that are important for social memory may, may be involved because the participant needs to retrieve previously stored experience of others' mental states and their associated facial expressions and match them to the particular stimuli presented. So that's pretty f profound. Obviously, oxytocin goes far beyond just intimacy, connection, and bonding. There's a lot more really fascinating research coming out about oxytocin. So you're probably now thinking, okay, well, there are many activities that can increase oxytocin, but are we able to take oxytocin and use oxytocin? And that is being done right now by many biohackers and experimenters around the world where you can actually take oxytocin. Obviously, this is not medical advice, but you can use something known as demoxytocin, which is desamino oxytocin. Uh, you will see a link to this product in the video description if you want to look into this particular product. But desamino oxytocin is an analog of the oxytocin peptide but it's considered more potent compared to oxytocin itself and has a longer half-life and can be used sublingually, so under the tongue. All of these factors actually make demoxytocin or desamino oxytocin sort of a perfect candidate for use instead of relying on oxytocin itself. So demoxytocin at 50 IU is administered via transbuckle tablet. So the tablet is actually placed inside the mouth between the cheek and gums on the right side and left side of the cheeks to keep and keep it in the mouth without actually chewing and not swallowing until it's completely dissolved and absorbed. So even just one tablet or even half a tablet is enough to experience the effects of what oxytocin directly feels like. And there's many reports online about how oxytocin has changed people's lives. It's made people connect with other humans better. And ultimately this is just one strategy. I'm not saying this is the be all and end all. I do cover other strategies to boost empathy and improve social anxiety and reduce that in my nootropics masterclass you'll see a link to that in the video description below but i found this study very interesting and hopefully you did too if you did please like the video please share this video i look forward to seeing you in the next video